Who in their right mind would call this vigilante justice? You took the law into your own hands. To save another man's life. I acted on instinct, Liza. Basic human decent instinct, the same as any other decent human being would. Well, a jury might not see it that way. A jury? So you already have me on trial. Unless David wakes up, I have no proof that you needed to shoot that gun. Oh, Liza, if you go through with this, you are going to end up even more of a laughingstock than you are now. You are going to ruin your career. I'm not one of your minions, Erica. You cannot just swap me away. Look, don't let her get to you. Oh. She's just trying to soften you up so that if she does bring charges, you'll roll over and take a plea deal. You know, when Greenlee and Ryan called us and told us that they had evidence that would clear her, I just imagined that this would all be in the past, all our troubles behind us. I know, I know. We thought we were going to leave the courtroom after Greenlee's trial and go get her marriage license, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. No, we can't even, can't even focus on our wedding at all. You know, maybe we should postpone it. Huh? I don't want to postpone it. I want this to all go away. Okay. Then let's go see Caleb. Let's discuss our options. All right. But just not right at this minute, because I just have to clear my head. Okay. Care to tell me where you're headed to? Oh, someplace peaceful. Someplace where I can just concentrate on health. Very, very beautiful. Our wedding is going to be. I mean, the way they were talking, mm -hmm. Chandler definitely is a good shot of holding up the apartment. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Whoa. Your son needs you. No, I called him from the car. He's great. You should, um, you should get packing. You should get home as soon as possible. Well, and back to life the way it was? Last night, this morning, it was incredible. But you and me doing this, pretending like we're a real couple, is it's a fantasy. That's not what you said before. Well, I, I, was, I was wrapped up in the moment. I, the freedom of thinking that there were no damages and no, no repercussions. It was magic. But it has to stop. I mean, at least until you finish this custody fight for AJ, we, we have to play by the rules. Even if we hate them. All right, I'll go pack. What's wrong? Everything. Leaving like this, it's giving up. And I don't want to give you up, Annie. Of course, JR is with Annie. I mean, he pretends like there's nothing going on between them because he thinks it'll help him get custody of AJ. It's not gonna happen. He says they went there on business. An obvious cover. Yeah. I can't believe he took her to Washington, D.C. You know, that's where they were when JR first cheated on me. And you're surprised that he has no shame. God. When I first met him, he was so different. He was this complete other person. I mean, he was gentle, thoughtful, caring. When I see him now, it, it's, it's hard to believe that he's the same man. Hey, do you mind if I take a few hours off? I was thinking about going to visit David, see how he's doing. That's a break? Yeah, I know. From one disastrous relationship to another. I mean, aside from DNA, I have no connection to him, so don't ask me why I feel obligated to visit, but... I do. Go ahead. Take as much time as you need. Thank you.
Hey, you know, I've been let down by a lot of men in my life. But not all of them. Uh, what's up, man? I, I didn't know you'd be here. Yeah, I should be picking up some papers for Liza, but I had to stop and see my girl first. Mm -hmm. You want Colby, right? Uh, what? Colby, you wanted her for something? You were just calling her name? Oh, yeah, I was, I was headed out, you know, and um, I, her neck's been sore lately, uh, she told me, so you know, I figured I could maybe pick up something from the pharmacy. You didn't tell me your neck was bothering you? Oh, it's fine now. <laughs> Want some help with that? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, later, guys. You know what I'd like to Damon, do Damon, I don't want to talk about Asher, okay? All right? I just... I want to talk about us. <sighs> okay. I miss you so much. I know. I miss you, too. I'm sorry. Work has been insane lately. But it means a lot of overtime. I see a very swanky dinner in our near future. <laughs> what about maybe uh, breakfast in bed? Hmm? I can't. I have to grab those papers and go down to the courthouse. Well, then why don't you just call in sick then? Yeah, Eliza really needs me today. What? You know, maybe you should start thinking about what I need. Hey, Dorothy. What are you doing here? I just came to say goodbye. Goodbye? Yeah, to the case. I filled in for Jackson, did my job. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I just ran into Liza Colby at the hospital. She is hell-bent on putting me on trial. Sounds like she's making this personal. She is. She definitely is. I think all she has is desperation and a clinging ambition. Okay. Show me. Excuse me. Show me where you were standing when it happened. I thought you just said that you were saying goodbye to this case. If you want me to go after Liza, I need to know every detail of what happened. Where were you? Where were you standing? Where were they standing? Look, I didn't come here for this. Do you want me to help you? Show me. No. Do you want me to stop Liza? Of course. Okay, then show me where you were. Oh, my God, yeah. I, I was here. And where were they? Well, when I, when I arrived here on the roof, they, they were fighting right there, right where you're standing, right there, right at the edge. All right. And, and the gun was at my feet. So I just picked it up and I shot David before he could push Ryan over the edge. And where did David go down? Right. right, right over here. Be more specific, exactly. Where did he go down? Here. All right, and you were over here? When you fired the gun, you were here? Yes. Look, I, I, I didn't know what I, I didn't think. I just knew that I couldn't let David kill Ryan. Did you aim the gun? Or did you just... I, I don't know. I don't know. I just I just shot. I, I mean, it happened so fast. Look, none of this has anything to do with Liza Colby. It has everything to do with how Liza Colby thinks and what's going on inside of her head. If I'm going to stop her, I have to know what she is thinking if I am going to defend you. I don't need a defense. 
I told the police what I did and why I did it. That really should have been enough defense. That's a legitimate defense. It should have ended everything. But with a DA like Liza Colby, who's been publicly humiliated, who needs to win one, especially this one. I don't know, maybe we should just give it to her, you know, just agree to some minor kind of a charge that we can all agree to live with, but no jail time. I need to be with my daughter. Nice. So you're just gonna give up? Of course not, I'm not giving up. I'm just trying to get my life back. I need to focus on my family now. I need to plan my wedding. Good luck. Where are you going? I want somebody to roll over for you, get a dog. <laughs>